Hi everybody! So as always, um, I'm going to start this video off with a daily quote. Um, this one today says, you see things and you say why. But I dream things that never were and I say why not, said by George Bernard Shaw. Really, really nice quote about dreaming and working towards your goals and working towards your dreams, which is so, so essential. So. The content of this video today is about how psilocybin or magic mushrooms changed my life. So I want to give a brief disclaimer. Um, I'm again not endorsing the use of magic mushrooms in a recreational setting. I just want to put that out there so there's no ambiguity. My primary focus of this video is how mushrooms helped improve my mental health. If you're interested in learning more about what I've dealt with with my mental health struggles and what I do continue to deal with, please check out my video, Let's Destigmatize Mental Health. In 2018, it was the first time that I took a mushrooms trip. The trip in and of itself was very uncomfortable. Um, it's a very like uncomfortable kind of sensation in the body and it's not something that I would say I have fun doing, but the after effects of psilocybin is what is important to me about the substance. During the trip, it was very interesting seeing just the different uh, visual aspects. I'm a very artistic person, so I found that extremely phenomenal, seeing the world from a completely different perspective. On psilocybin, get ready to face what you have been trying to hide beneath the surface because whether you like it or not, it's probably going to come out. So something that I have been struggling with for as long as I can remember is emetophobia, which is phobia of vomit. So the mushrooms brought me to a place where I thought that I was going to be sick. So that obviously was extremely, extremely anxiety provoking for someone who has emetophobia. I didn't end up getting sick, luckily. But the thought was there and um, I was completely enveloped in this trip of getting sick. The entirety of the trip lasted about five hours, um, four or five hours. And this was at the tail end of it. The beginning of it was, was great. I was with a person that I felt extremely comfortable with. It was, it was an ideal situation. And then when it turned nighttime, is when I started to get the sensation of anxiety and feeling like I was going to be sick. So I was letting whatever needed to happen happen, which sounds extremely daunting for someone who has bad anxiety and wants to control things all the time. So I decided to myself, I'm just going to lay back. I'm going to let whatever happens happens. If I'm sick, okay. If I'm not, that's even better. So I let whatever happened happen and I didn't end up getting sick. I ended up registering why this phobia came about for me. The overall product of that experience was simply, I'm okay. Like everything's okay. Life is okay. Life is good. Everything's good. I'm okay. Mushrooms gave me the sensation of just self-efficacy, life satisfaction. Um, in that moment, I'm okay. And in every moment, I'm okay. So this was an extremely intense experience. It was extremely profound. So the after effects of psilocybin are subtle, but they're there. So. In the months after my first trip, I figured out what I wanted to devote my life to. So this is not something that happens with everyone. I had been suffering from 
some depressive episodes, a lot of anxiety, that phobia, and all of that stuff. I was able to cope with it way, way more and way better than I had in the past. So I felt this general sense of, I'm supposed to be here. That supposed to be here thing was very transcendental for me because I realized what my purpose in life is slowly over time. It's not something that came to me in that trip. It was something that I was stepping into step by step. What I started realizing were different synchronicities. It started when I decided to just let myself study psychology and holistic health. And from that point, all of these different doors opened up for me and I couldn't even begin to deny that transpersonal psychology is my path. I also gained from my experience on mushrooms a profound sense of predestination. It kind of ties into that aspect, like I feel like my purpose is already set. I know that I'm just taking the steps to get to that. These opportunities, whether they're open doors or closed doors, they're all steering me towards that purpose that I have in life that I couldn't tell you what it is, but I know that I'm going to get there. It's an extremely comforting feeling to know that my path is already set and I'm basically just trusting the process of that. It also takes a lot of comfort in lack of control, which is something I never thought that I would say I feel comfortable with, but I do feel comfortable with that. The after effects of psilocybin are, are what I really find most important about the experience in and of itself. Another thing that was pretty profound with me was my connection to nature post mushrooms trip. I started to really value the earth. I know this is gonna sound cliche, but I realized that I am really part of the earth. In order to fully benefit from how I nurture myself, I need to nurture the earth as well. And I need to nurture life around me as well. And then that will come back to me. So it's kind of like a karma ideal, I guess, if you will. That, that feeling is very purposeful. It makes me feel like I have like a purpose, even if I'm stagnant for a little bit. So that's a very comforting feeling is to feel like I, I belong, to feel like comfortable with where I'm at. Again, I'm okay. And that is the main thing that I gained from my experience on mushrooms. I'm okay. Psilocybin allowed me to realize I need to help change the viewpoint of society to focus more on nurturing life around us rather than tearing it down, which is unfortunately what our society is more geared toward. I feel as though I need to deliver the message of everything through a lens of compassion, um, nurturing, kindness, leadership, to, in order to make a change for both ourselves and our environment. That's the long and short of my experience on psilocybin. Again, I don't endorse taking psilocybin or mushrooms in a recreational setting. I do hope that you enjoy hearing about my experience. I will definitely be making more videos about this experience because everything ties back to my experiences on mushrooms, but I want to just say thank you plant medicine for allowing me to have this experience and reaping the after effects of such a profound mystical substance. Thank you for watching my video this week. Uh, again, if you haven't checked out my previous videos, feel free to do so. If you're interested in knowing more about what psilocybin is, um, I encourage you to watch my video from two weeks ago. And if you want more background on my mental health, I encourage you to watch my video, Let's Destigmatize Mental Health, to get some background knowledge on how psilocybin helped that. So again, thank you so much for watching this week and stay tuned for next week.